Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Ron Kondravi, or Kondravi, either one is fine, okay. I uh, work for Caltex, so you guys are gonna love this application process. It's much quicker, much easier, a lot less problematic than maybe previous generation of products. So this, uh, this here, though, is like, the water's like static clean is what you're trying to get? Yeah, the like water it. actually uh, facilitates the application process and allows the molecule to open up and release the complex polymers nanoparticles okay. that we have in it, the small molecules, and the, the carnauba that we actually have in the product. The car has to be wet, so it's not an option. You can put it on dry or wet. If you put this on a car while it's dry, it's, it's not going to look good and it's not going to work. <laughs> so the car vehicle has to be wet, okay? So very, very easy application process. I'm going to do it just like this, and I'll probably paint seal or exterior seal this vehicle uh, in a minute and a half as opposed to maybe in the past, to hand apply a rub-on product and pan removal on a vehicle of this size, one guy, 40 minutes? 45 minutes, yep. Okay, this is going to cut that down a minute and a half. All right, so uh, let's, uh, let's just do it. Now, the other, a couple things here, uh, I just want you to get aware of product use. You're going to go through this a lot faster than the previous sealant. This gallon container here will probably do about uh, 15 to 20 cars. So you want to keep that in mind. The fabric, as before, will probably be uh, 20 to 25. The vinyl leather is probably going to be about 35 to 40. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of a more is better person. I've always had to fight the urge to put more on. But less is best. And I, this ball is filled up here. I'll probably use this much product on this vehicle. If you use that much product, way too much. Okay, so you all ready? Okay, here we go. This is all you do. Nice and light. I keep moving. I don't have to worry about the plastic or the molding. You can see the water reacting with the product. It's actually helping spread the product. Wow. That's what you see. Check that out. You see the beads coming up? They just there and all of a sudden it starts beading. Uh, I'm not going to do the roof. Is that glass? I think it's glass. Okay. That's wow, deep. that's deep. Yeah, it's being no real quick. Yeah, I like that. You can see a little bubble. I'm a little yeah, vertically yeah, challenged, so I, I can't get two tell. Right here, they go like this and it breaks water. This is a real. I can bubble up at it. Nice, wide, overlapping. I keep moving. I'm not spending a lot of time in a sp any one spot. Now the second rinse is going to help spread the product, even it out. And then we use the chamois, uh, and it helps work the product in. Go turn it on and win. Yeah, right. Now, question two. What about rubber? What will it do to any of the rubber? Does it affect? Nope. No, no. That's it. So how much did I use? Okay. Okay, let's rinse. Now, I forgot to ask everybody, you should have all brought sunglasses because when this car's done, it might be hard to look at. Sounds like Sally Rick Neal's demo, huh? Uh oh. <laughs> Go ahead. And then you just shoot it just like you're rinsing off. Yeah. Well, I didn't do the no, rinse. I didn't do the rinse. I couldn't reach up there. You want to do the roof, obviously. Yeah. So basically, the second rinse helps spread the product. The second rinse does help spread the product. A lot of guys forget about the second rinse. So you want to rinse, rinse before and after. rinse after. You can use the high pressure water before. But it's probably not a deal breaker to use it on a sec, but I, best practice. <clears throat> now you could probably blade the water off the glass uh, and use it. In fact, you can. A lot of guys will. Uh, Sometimes use a blade on a car, which is okay, but the chamois is really the best practice. Usually on the new ones, we don't try to use a blade unless, we have, unless it's a spot spot. Um, other than that, though, you, you prefer that we just chamois them. Yes. And oh, after we chamois, here's another step that a lot of guys forget to do. Get a nice soft microfiber and go over it after right, you chamois. That really helps it pop. In fact, 
when this product cures, it'll actually look better about a day later after it's cured. It'll look really shiny. Okay, now you're sitting chamois and then come back with the microfiber. Microfiber. You want to make sure, though, this is like 90% dry. Yes. You kind of mm -hmm. don't want to. Yeah, right, right. But you want to go back over that. that microfiber really gives it that extra pop. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know? Go ahead. You're always going to play the car, prep the car, wash the car, do all those things you typically do. But this new process with the exterior sealant and the interior should probably add no more, Don probably a little less than 30 lane, minutes for a normal get ready. Don Murray for the lane, okay, so you. if a normal get ready takes 45 minutes to get a car ready to go, add about 30 minutes to that with a watch care application. Okay, so just in review. The exterior, we're going to do the painted surfaces of the vehicle. I mean, we prep the car, wash the car, rinse it while it's wet, apply the exterior sealant. I like to call it exterior because it's more than just paint. It's an exterior sealant. We're going to do the headlight lenses. Don't forget those. The aluminum alloy and chrome wheels. You don't have to do the plastic hubcaps. Aluminum alloy, chrome wheels, and any chrome on a vehicle. We'll rinse again, maybe a little softer water pressure. Chamois, microfiber right after the chamois make sure that we use window cleaner on the glass. Okay, stay away from a matte paint job either on the exterior or the wheels. And uh, we're gonna protect that exterior from fading and loss of gloss, industrial fallout, tree sap, bird waste, hard water etching, road salt. Also, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we're gonna also pick up sand abrasion like a windstorm fades the paint. That accidental paint overspray, which is road paint, but not necessarily limited to that. We had a claim in Annapolis, Maryland, where a building was being painted and filtered over on somebody's car. Okay, that's accidental paint over spray. Uh, also, uh, we don't cover a vandalism, like if an angry girlfriend spray paints your car, you don't call Lux Care on that. That's a, that, uh, that's a you call a divorce attorney or something like that. <laughs> uh, so we're not talking about vandalism. That would be a comprehensive claim. Uh, so, uh, and also we're picking up the brake dust staining, aluminum, uh, the wheels, the uh, headlight lenses from yellowing, etc.